Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. The New Hampshire Legislature came back to Concord uh, January 8th, and there are some topics that the New, the, the New Hampshire businesses ought to pay attention to that are going to become bills. And uh, we're going to talk about those in a minute, uh, but here are the ones we are going to talk about. They are paid family and medical leave, collection of personal employee info by businesses, and the Learn Everywhere Initiative, interesting, and vaping prohibition. Now, uh, back in the uh, 640, uh, we talked about uh, business taxes and uh, minimum wage and workforce housing. So we're not going to cover those this time with David Juve, Senior Vice President of the Business Industry Association of New Hampshire. Welcome. Thanks, Fred. Um, the first item on that list is the paid family and medical leave. We that has been around for 10 years or more, and we get closer and closer and closer to it passing. Will it be back this time? It, it will definitely be back this time. The legislature passed a mandatory paid family leave bill last session. The governor vetoed it. There's a second House bill uh, that was retained, so that will be back this session, um, another mandatory paid family leave program. The governor has an alternative, a voluntary uh, paid yep. family leave program, so those two proposals will be duking it out this session. The collection of personal employee information by businesses, um, I know the BIA opposed that, uh, and I can personally understand why, but it, that, is that back? Yeah, it is, and, and what they're talking about is um, the proponents, at least, don't think businesses should be able to use things like credit checks right. as a part of the employment process. We believe that the businesses that do that, not everyone does, but some do, have a reason for doing it, and they have a right to do that as uh, a yeah. best practice in their business. Yeah. Um, here's an interesting one. I think it's one of the more interesting issues that uh, the legislature has had in recent years. It's called the Learn Every Everywhere initiative. What yeah, is, this, what is well, it? Well, this is an initiative that came out of the Department of Education. Commissioner Edelblu um, promulgated it through the rulemaking process. The idea behind it is to recognize that that school kids can learn in environments outside of the classroom. And in fact, in some cases, they can get practical experience that's more valuable than classroom experience. Credit. So they should be able to get credit for that. Ah. There's some resistance uh, in the legislature to that idea uh, because it came through rulemaking not through legislation. Uh, and so there are several bills this session that will be looking to reevaluate that. The BIA supports it. We think it is a valuable way to teach kids in, in a different environment. Especially with a need for workforce. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's a, a, a good idea. And then finally, the vaping prohibition. There are bills to uh, prohibit uh, uh, vaping, uh, uh, especially all the flavors, right. except right. menthol. But there's another yeah, one. Well, too. I wouldn't say this is a huge issue this session, but there are some bills... Uh, out there addressing the issue, and it's obviously brought on by the concern, the health concerns right. uh, related to uh, vaping, especially the flavored vaping um, uh, yeah. type of. To go back to that uh, uh, education or learn everywhere, there's right. also a bill into mandatory civics in classrooms, which might be a, a, a timely uh, thing to, <laughs> do, to, to do these days. Well, a lot of people think so. I mean, on, on one hand, you're sort of telling uh, schools how best to teach. On the other hand, I think we can all agree that understanding how our political process works and how our democracy works is valuable. Yeah. Real quick, in 10 seconds, uh, this legislature, uh, what's it characterized? I think it'll look a lot like the 2019 session, but on steroids. Both parties want to energize their base right. looking towards the fall elections. David Juve, Senior Vice President of the Business Industry Association of New Hampshire. Thank you. Thank you.